Hang on guys, welcome back to another episode of Real Loose Adventures. We're out here today, we're getting pigeons, we're cooking them up on the fire, and we're waiting here in the ambush. Woo! It's gonna be a weapon episode, so stay tuned. And this is the delicacy of the pigeon, so. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So on this episode, we are going pigeon shooting. So some of the boys we work with, um, they go and shoot Torres Strait pigeons off the beach. And obviously we're not allowed to do that because we're not Aboriginals, but the Aboriginal boys love them for food. So we're gonna follow along and they're gonna show us how to cook them up, how to shoot them, how to catch them, how to clean them. So it's gonna be pretty cool. I've never seen it happen before, but um, I've heard all about it, so we're gonna go pick the boys up that we work with and uh, shoot straight down to the beach and hopefully get a few. So follow along. Oh, we're just heading out now, just heading out to round all the boys up. So this trip, show you back here on the seat. We supply the rounds, they supply the waffle. So we're gonna meet them all out here and then we're gonna cruise down the beach and hopefully smack a few. Oh, well, we just pulled up on this nice little creek. The boys are just listening for some pigeons because you, you can hear them calling out sometimes and they're going hoo hoo. So the boys are just having a bit of a listen, seeing if we can hear any and if we can hear a few we might go for a walk with the shotguns and try and get a couple. Fig tree. I don't know if the, the pigeons actually eat the figs, but when this starts dropping, the pigs are gonna be here hardcore. Holy, it's a big, that's one of the biggest fig trees I've seen. Massive. We heard one little whopper before when I was pointing up in the air, but I don't know, it just stopped calling out. It might have flown away. I heard it's on the bottom. It's super hard to catch, but um, the Savi. Like, we are definitely going to get them because it's time of the year. It's a hunting season for the boys because it's their traditional hunting. The pigeon come down low because the wind pushes in, so they, they try and hug the land a bit, and you just ambush them on the beach and drop a few. So what we're doing today is we're trying to get a few before we get to the beach so we can cook them up by the time the pigeons start flying in. So we'll have pigeons ready to eat and get a few more to take home for the freezer for them. So hopefully we can get a few now in the bush, but... It's proven harder than we thought. Oh, I've lost the boys and I'm just sitting here. I've just hit hit the creek. We've sort of been walking along. And there's a good flock of wapples that just, they've just flown over and landed on that tree around the back there. I don't know where Timo went. I've just sort of lost him. So I might walk back to the car and find him. What am I gonna do? Throw a rock at him in the trees. But um, yeah, there's a heap over there. They might, I just see another one flying then. They might stay there, but I go back and find the boys and see what they want to do. So this little creek I'm in, along it, there's this like berries and fruit and figs and it's just loaded with life along it. And that's why the waffles come along here, they just feed up on all the fruit they like to eat. And then at night time they fly back out to the islands for safe haven. And that's where they cross the beach where we're going to sit the savi. And we just sit there, wait the wind, the strong headwinds come in, pushes them down low. And that's when we get a chance to shoot them and drop a few. Well, the boys will be shooting them anyway. We'll just be filming them. Our little pre-cooked waffles. Many out. A couple of beers. You would have just seen us shoot a couple of them pigeons. The boys have been smashing them with the 12 gauge shotties. So uh, we're gonna make a bit of a fire. The boys are getting some timber, fire it up, and then we're gonna have a fire, get some coals. Then we're gonna chuck the pot on, 
and the boys are going to show us how to cook these up. So they're, um, they're called either Torres Strait pigeons because they come down from the Torres Straits and then um, when the berries all fire up around Cape York they come into the coast but they nest out on the island so the local boys call them wapple. So if you hear us saying wapple that's pigeons. So we're going to chuck some wapple straight into a pot, cook them up and just see how they go. Hopefully they taste good. I haven't tasted them yet but these boys smash them all the time. So uh, keen, keen to see how it goes. You done this a time or two boys or what? Well, a few times. <laughs> I'll wapple pluckers from way back. <laughs> we on, we on. We on. Came in with the goods. Fucking earth. She gone, Jack. She gone. What are you doing here, Jack? Man, and the feathers off him. And the parasites off. Him. <laughs> that other one, that one, the big fat one looks good. The pigeons in the fire and burning the rest of the feathers off that they haven't plucked. And that also burns any parasites that are on them off. And, and adds a bit of flavour to the stew when we make it. Keep the little birds out of the sand. We just charred, charred them in the fire, the boys did, so they tell us that all the fat, there's fat dripping out of them now, so once you chuck them in the pot, that comes out and adds a bit more flavour to the stew, so pretty keen to try it, they're looking mint. Right, these are our little pigeons we're cooking up, and we've got some onions, and some salt, and a bit of garlic, so that goes all in the pot with these pigeons. Get it done. Head chopped off. He's done this before, I reckon. There's a little green bit in there that he tells us is poisonous, so you gotta rip that out. That's a little green bit that you don't wanna eat, apparently. Chuck that out. The fire. That's pretty much it. So you split it into four bits, a little drumstick. And you got the breast liver and heart so then we chuck that in the pot and uh we're good to go pot got the water in there and some garlic in boys reckon this is the go <laughs> how's that prime the garlic i mean onion going in and that's all the flavor right there chuck me out when i load him up yeah, yeah. Hey. she'll be cooking that's a good How long is that going there? Two hours? Two hours. They shouldn't be long, only two in there. Yep. That's a good one. That looks alright when the steam hits it. Well, we're just going to fill a bit more water up in this pot because the water's starting to boil out now. And we're going to head up the beach. The pigeons have just started flying down across, so we're going to go sit up there a bit because they'll see the smoke and we'll wait for them to in ambush with the gun. Well, so we parked the car here. Got this bit of a dune behind us to ambush them. Hey, look right there. There they are. <laughs> so what we're doing, we're at the top of the hill here. We just gotta peep up over, see them coming down. We we'll back down in when they get about up here, and then they should drop onto the beach. Looks like from where we're sitting, back down this way, it's where the wapples have actually been flying across. So, I don't know if we're gonna stay here for a bit. They reckon about five o'clock they come in really hard. So we'll wait here for a bit, probably they'll fly over here. Oh well, we come down the beach a bit to where we seen them flying over and there was a big flock that flew over straight up. They just ducked a bit out of our range. The other boys are way down there. There's a heap of wapples flying out. Uh, none have flown over yet, so it's a bit of the waiting game. So, five o'clock we should be on. Got him? Hey! Oh 
What that fella? later in the afternoon and the boys are just letting fly with the shotties. Got a fair feed now, probably got 10 pigeons so far. So they're gonna take a few back to the hope bale and smash a heap. Probably smash a heap for dinner, so cool. Another pigeon. We got heaps of waffle. We're out of um out of bullets but we got plenty more than enough. So Got one out here in the ocean, drifted in. Try and grab him. Holy shit, he got one here, look. Drop the whole flock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well that's us done for the RV. The boys shot a pigeons to eat. We went through 125 rounds of shotgun bullets, but we got a got a good feed of pigeon too, so gonna pull that boys, load it up. You enough. I've just pulled the pot off. It's been boiling for about three hours. Now the fun bit, eh boys? Plucking it. <laughs> Plucking them. They were coming over when we stopped shooting there, eh? Yeah, eh? Hey. They started coming good. Shit, those dogs are big mobs too. Oh, well, we just pluck, help the boys pluck all the pigeons. We're just burning them up now. Taking all the feathers off them. These boys are going to take them home. That's for the freezer and to make their soup. A few birds on the back here, and the rest are pluck. Get all them done. And we're just about to have a go at this wapple soup here. See how it goes. Oh, a bit hungry. Didn't bring any food up. And then dinner is served. There's a little breast meat. Right there. Have a look at it. Boys have done well. Oh, chef over here. <laughs> Better than KFC, Tastes mate. like chicken, mate. <laughs> what do we got here? I want a little, I want a little wing or something. Try that hard out there. I think, the other one. Yeah. I think I'm pushing my luck here trying a heart, so I'll try this first. <laughs> little meaty bit. Bad, not bad. Needs garlic. <laughs> oh, we got the we got the pigeon liver. They reckon this is the delicacy of the pigeon, so not too bad, they eh? They reckon it's an aphrodisiac. Ooh, yeah. I'm on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Good size. Bring my in, yabba. Salt makes it taste a lot better. Everything tastes better with salt. Oh well guys, sun's setting. Just burnt all the hair off the pigeons and the feathers. Snoopy here, he wants some pigeon. So thanks for watching another episode. Got these fellas here, cheers to these boys. For showing us how it's done, smashing some pigeons. We ate them up, cooked them up, and they were prime. So thanks for watching another episode, and we'll see you on the next one.